several days because it could be a repeat performance of what we're seeing this evening because the threat's not going away anytime soon. Absolutely. There's a look at tomorrow. We've got our cold front that's pushing its way through. Now our low itself, the, the energy itself, starts to exit off into Canada, but the low-level jet, the low-level moisture are certainly in place. Absolutely. So uh, tomorrow, some of the areas east and southeast, uh, we've got that strong mid-level disturbance. They'll begin to see the storm. So there's the future radar. Notice the storms that we'll be watching tonight fizzling out by tomorrow afternoon, but then we watch around the Chicago area, parts of Illinois, Indiana for the threat of storms out there tomorrow afternoon. All right, so some of these storms like to produce some hail, some wind. We think it's a relatively low tornado threat. It's not mm -hmm. huge by any means, but you could see one or two touchdown right. here or there. There's look tomorrow's severe weather threat area. Really focus in on the areas in red. That's where you're most likely to see that. That includes Lansing, maybe all the way back down toward uh, Kansas City. Yeah, and for Milwaukee, it's hit or miss thunderstorms all the way from late evening tomorrow. So mm -hmm. we're talking late on Tuesday, through the overnight and early morning hours of your Wednesday. It's a dangerous time yeah. too. think about that. You're going to bed and you've got no way of being alerted unless you've mm -hmm. got your app on your phone, which you've already right. mentioned. Weather alert on your radio as well is a good thing. It's a good thing to have because it'll go off the instant that warning right. is issued. Even if it's a severe thunderstorm warning, you know, got to get you to a new tornado warning that we've got on the north side of the Minneapolis area. Let's take a look at this on the radar. And of course, for us this week and pushing now back into places in the east, especially in the northeast. Mm -hmm. So this is something we really have to keep in mind. How we beat the heat, keep ourselves cool and pay attention to the kids and the pets. Absolutely. You know, uh, make sure everybody's out of the car before you go inside. Mm -hmm. Monitor how much time they're spending outdoors, both the kids and the pets. The heat can get a, take it out of you rather quickly when you're talking about highs like this. And take a look at the lows. They're staying in the mid-70s, which means it's going to be muggy, too. And when you've got heat and humidity, mm -hmm. that can be an especially dangerous combination. Classic <laughs> urban heat island yeah. effect, too, where it's so warm at night, you get no relief. But notice here how that ridge becomes centered right over the east through midweek. means temperatures are going to climb above average for just about everyone here in the east. And it means that if you've been hot, you're going to stay hot. If you've been on the cooler side, your temperatures are now rebounding. Highs here 5 to 15 degrees above average. Look at the heat even tomorrow in places like Portland. We're right. going to be 86 degrees. And what's funny is some of these places had their coolest July temperatures or one of the coolest mm -hmm. July days Just yesterday, yesterday when temperatures were hanging out in the 50s and 60s. Right. So you're going from chilly to the downright steamy. oppressive, right. right? Burlington, 87. Syracuse, 85. There's your 96 in Washington, D.C. And then just like a blast furnace in New York where temperatures will be in the mid-90s. Here's a look at Friday. Look at the dots on the map. The yellows and the oranges here. 5 to 10 degrees above average. Departures are pretty significant, especially for those of us that don't have air conditioning. Right. This can be really tough to handle. And, you know, what we've been talking about some of the areas and how many 90-degree uh, days or, or 90 degrees or warmer days they've had so far. This this year, you know, New York City's had one that mm -hmm. we're expecting two this week. And when we talk about near record warm nights, so the lows are even going to stay warm well into the 70s, mm. and that can make it even mm. more dangerous because you're not cooling no. uh, at night. And you're not getting any rest at no. all because you're so uncomfortable at night. There are your morning lows as you wake up to Thursday, mid-70s in Buffalo, wow. 76 in D.C., and upper 60s in Burlington, where we're normally expecting 50s this time right. of year. Right, and where you would like to be able to open up the window, get some of that fresh, cooler air, not, and not in play this week. All right, we're definitely keeping a very...